Hey everyone, welcome to Owl Zone, a weekly sports show where we bring you the latest info and highlights on your Kennesaw State Owls. I'm your host Savannah Pratt and today we're at the beautiful Marietta Country Club for the 21st annual Dot Martin Scholarship Golf Classic. This event has raised over $500,000 in the past eight years for Kennesaw State Student Athlete Scholarships. Speaking of student athletes, I know you're excited about seeing all the highlights from this past week in Owl Nation, so let's take a look. The 24th ranked Kennesaw State men's golf team opens NCAA play on Thursday when it tees up at the Chapel Hill Regional in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. The Owls are making their fifth straight regional appearance and sinking their third trip to the Nationals. The 54-hole tournament is slated for May 14th through 16th and can be followed live at www.golfstat.com. The Kennesaw State women's golf team concluded its season at the San Antonio Regional on Saturday. The Owls, who were making their second NCAA regional appearance in school history, finished 14th with a 34 over par total of 898. Senior Ines Les Crudier capped a stellar collegiate by tying for 40th place with three over par, 219 total. The men's and women's track and field team will be back in action this week when they travel to Jacksonville, Florida for the A-Sun Conference Championship that will open on Friday. The men will be seeking their third straight title while the women will be looking to capture their first conference crown. The softball team wrapped up its season over the weekend after posting a 1-2 record at the A-Sun Conference Tournament in Fort Myers, Florida. The Owls entered play as the number three seed and fell 4-3 to number six seed Stetson on Wednesday. Facing elimination, Kennesaw State rallied to defeat number five seed Jacksonville 7-1 on Thursday. Playing its second straight elimination game, KSU met Stetson for a second time in three days and fell 7-4 on Friday. The Owls finished the year 32-19 under head coach Tori Atchison. The Kennesaw State men's baseball team closed out its home schedule last week. The Owls fell 7-4 to Georgia State in a midweek non-conference on Wednesday before welcoming Jacksonville to Stillwell Stadium for an Atlantic Sun Conference weekend series. KSU suffered a tough 5-3 setback to the Dolphins on Friday before rebounding with a 9-7 win on Saturday. The victory came on senior day as Benjamin Bancroft, Colin Bennett, Nathan Harsh, and Chris McGowan were honored prior to the game. The win also clinched a berth in the A-Sun Conference Tournament that begins May 20th in Fort Myers, Florida. The Owls ended the series on a disappointed note as they lost 12-8 in a Sunday series finale. Kennesaw State concluded regular season play this week with a non-conference contest at Georgia Southern on Tuesday before visiting a Sun Conference leader, North Florida, in a three-game series beginning Friday. Thank you to all of our Twitter fans that tweeted us this week. Kelly says, Owlzone, it was a pleasure joining y'all. I loved getting a little taste of the on-camera life, and it looks like she may be considering it as a future career. Hashtag Go Kelly. KSU Owls Lacrosse said, so great to see Ket on hashtag Owlzone. Hashtag Fancy Alumni. Hashtag Birdie Dance. We want to hear from all of you. So tweet us what you love about Owlzone using hashtag Owlzone and at KSU Owl Nation. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at KSU Owl Vision to be the first to see next week's episode. Thank you once again to all of the donors that came out to support the Dot Martin Scholarship Golf Classic. That'll do it for this week's episode of Owl Zone. I'm your host, Savannah Pratt, and as always, go Owls.